Hi, this is Keith. Um, in the last video, I promised you that in this video we would talk about tax reform, but like any good presidential candidate, I lied, and uh, we'll get to tax reform next video. This video is going to be a bonus video. Enjoy. In video number four, I showed you how a president should use his schedule to maximize his interactions with everyday ordinary citizens and to help uh, promote his agenda, his message, and to humanize him. Um, in the Dr. Keith administration, people will be allowed to literally line up outside the White House on Saturday mornings and speak with the president on any topic they want. They'll be able to, I'll set aside every Saturday for four hours to do that, and uh, I'll try to hear from as many people as I can during that time period. Sometimes, when someone is particularly disagreeable, to lighten the mood, we, we will play a game called Let's Agree. Let's see what that will look like. Hello, welcome to Let's Agree, the game where we try to find things that we can agree on as a country to make us a more cohesive and happy country. Playing our game with us today is author and columnist George Will. George, thanks for joining us. I didn't expect you to line up outside the White House to talk to me. This is truly a treat. But to help us round out our panel to play the game, I want you to pick from Albert Einstein, Bernie Sanders, or Mr. Spock. Go ahead and choose now, George. Now, since this video is such low, low budget and low quality, you'll have to trust me uh, that uh, George Will told me that uh, he wanted to pick Albert Einstein. We play by responding either I agree or I disagree to various statements we will make around tax reform. We will normally take turns making statements, but because of the low production value of this video and for time, I'm just showing you all the statements now. The game ends when we get to a statement we can't agree on. This encourages the players to try to propose statements that everyone can agree on. Are you ready to play? Now, of course, George and Albert agreed with all of the statements so that we can make this video short, but I believe a president should be willing to do anything, including coming up with goofy little games he can play with citizens to try to focus on, on things we can agree on, and that way I think we might be able to make some real change. Thanks.